Yeah, Mike and Cher, just so many unanswered questions. Brian Story says that his daughter's car was found here in this Marina Del Rey shopping plaza, and then her body was found out there in the middle of the Bayona wetlands. He says, but there is no way that his daughter left her keys in the car, walked across the street, found a random hole in that fence over there, climbed through it, and then wandered out into the darkness. He believes that someone else accessed the wetlands from a different point and put her body out there. She was my, uh, she was my angel. You know, she was a, a wonderful child. You know, just so considerate. Brian's story is devastated that his daughter, 32-year-old Colby, was found dead in the Bayona wetlands in Marina Del Rey after months of searching. I believe, you know, in my heart there was, you know, some sort of foul play or some sort of cover-up. Brian says the last time he spoke to Colby was December 6th. The night before she vanished, he says she was at Venice Beach with her boyfriend, Josh Tate. I saw a video of her from one of those pizza joints down in Venice walking around. She was talking to, to people. The guy she was seeing, you know, was there. They were, they were talking. And then when they left, that was kind of the last um, anybody um, saw of her. Brian says Josh told them he saw Colby get into her car, which is parked by Big Daddy's Pizza in Venice around 2.30 in the morning on December 7th. He says he followed her for a bit, and then when he saw her turn off roads on the Pacific towards her Mar Vista home, he went to his house. Josh had previously dated Colby's sister, who had got a restraining order against him. However, Brian doesn't think that Josh had anything to do with Colby's disappearance. I, I don't think so. I don't. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not a detective, and but I've seen enough, you know, shows to think, you know, that you know that that's always the likely subs, you know, suspect, the boyfriend of the last person to see her. I mean, you know, stalker to murderer is a quantum leap. Brian says the June 16th search of the wetlands when they found Colby's remains was a scheduled search with authorities since her car was found across the street in a Marina Del Rey shopping center. He tells us it was just a coincidence that a homeless man turned in her ID that same day in Venice. And they took that person said, I found it over here. And that was where the remains were found. Brian says not knowing what happened to his daughter is agonizing. Somebody saw something and please come forward because I, I need to find out what happened to my little girl. And Kobe leaves behind two sons, seven and 15. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help raise the boys. If you would like to find a link to that, you can go to our website, ktla.com. For now, reporting live here in Marina Del Rey, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you in the studio.